Okay, today we have XLR cable connectors, male, three pole. I always look at the part for new defective. I like to make sure I have a nice square cut. Don't forget the pieces that have to go on first. Strip the outer cable about a half an inch. It's not critical. You can adjust later. Stripping the two insulated conductors. Now I'm tinning these wires. This ensures that you have complete solder flow within your strands of wire even before they go into the connector. The shield is pin one, red is pin two, and black is pin three. I just want to make sure they're touching the, the bottom of the well. And of course, this wig I have is giving me trouble this time, of course.
flux core solder. I keep an eye out down here and I see the flux bubbling yeah. near the bottom here yeah. and I can see that the solder has flowed all the way into this cup. Mm -hmm. I know I have uh, the correct heat and the correct flow of the solder. It's a delicate balance because you don't want to melt the connector. Let it cool for a second, it doesn't take too long. Now, I always inspect my own work. On my own QC guy. There's a notch inside here it corresponds with the notches on the body of the connector it screws in and there's a seat so it just goes right down to that this holds the cable you can see the jaws here There's a notch also. It should seat against the back of the connector. Then we move the final part, stress relief. There it is. Completed connector.